Hello and welcome to the channel. The battle for who gets what is intensifying as our Muslim brothers don't begin the sham offensive, imploring President-elect Bola Tinubu to consider them first before their Christian counterparts for ministerial appointment based on the same religion way them be. <laughs> Ninja, subscribe, like, share, and Comment, thank you. Tenubu's cabinet. Muslims lobby president-elect for more ministers than Christians. Indications emerged last week that the jostle for inclusion in the cabinet of the next federal administration had intensified as some Muslims pleaded with president-elect Bola Ahmed Tenubu to give more ministerial appointments to members of their own faith than their Christian counterparts. They begged Tinubu to give Muslims in Muslim-majority states at least four ministerial appointments per geopolitical zone after his inauguration. There are six states in each of the six geopolitical zones, these South-South, South-West, North-Central, North-East, and North-West, only the Southeast has five states. The 1999 Constitution, as amended, provides that each of the 36 states of the Federation must have one native in the federal cabinet. Section 6, Part 1, Section 147 of the Constitution, titled Ministers of Federal Government, says specifically, any appointment under subsection 2 by the President shall be in conformity with the provisions of Section 14.3 of this Constitution, provided that in giving effect to the provisions aforesaid, the President shall appoint at least one minister from each state who shall be an indigent of such states. The implication of the Muslims' lobby is that any geopolitical zone where people of their own faith are in the majority, Muslims should have four ministers in the Tinubu cabinet, while Christians should be contented with two. The listed affected states to include Taraba, Adamawa, Nasarawa, Baoshi, Kogi, Oyo, Oshun, Ogun, Nainja, Kaduna, Kebi, and Lagos. The lobby is coming on the heels of the controversy generated by the Muslim Muslim presidential ticket of the Hall Progressives Congress APC which won the February 25, 2023 election. Those in favor of the ticket had said what was important was the competence of the presidential candidate and his running mate, while those in opposition said the development would embolden Muslim hardliners to try to Islamize the country. Separately, the lobbyists made a case for a top job for the outgoing governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir held Rafa in the Tinubu administration. They initially wanted a juicy job for the governor before changing their words to top job. The Muslims who spoke under the hages of Muslim rights concern, Murik, made their case in a statement titled, Murik to Tinubu, give Muslims in Muslim-majority states four ministers each. As Nigeria warms up for the inauguration of a new administration under the able, tested and trusted leadership of President-elect Bola Hakme Tinubu, we remind the incoming president and other Nigerians of past political marginalization of Muslims in Muslim-majority states since independence. The statement signed by Professor Ishak Akintola, Murik Executive Director, said. Citing the marginalization of Muslims in some parts of the country under successive administrations despite being in the majority on the opportunity the Tinubu presidency presents to redress the development the statement said, we are deeply disturbed that it is only in the core north where we have states like Sokoto, Bono, Katsina, ETC, that the right of Muslims to be included in governance is respected. Former Christian military heads of state and civilian presidents have deliberately marooned Muslims from the political architecture of Muslim-majority states. Christians who be appointed governors over Muslim-majority regions and states we are secretly given instructions to either turn or shake the demographic table in favor of Christianity. Unfortunately, 
This happened at a time when Muslims were still suffering from paucity of political consciousness in those regions and states. Examples of past denial of Muslims in participatory democracy can be found in the appointments of Colonel David Bamigboye as military governor of Kwara State, a predominantly Muslim majority state, May 1967 to July 1975, by General Jack Gowan, retired. Lieutenant Colonel Francis Adekunle Fadruyi was also appointed military governor of the Western Region by General Johnson Thomas. Omunakwe Agoye Ronsi. The Southwest had earlier been led mainly by Christian political leaders featuring Chief Jeremiah Obafemi Awolowo, Chief Samuel Ladoke Akintola, and Chief Victor Babare Milekon Adetokumbo Fanikayode. The Christianization agenda of the Southwest had also been championed by Christian military administrators and governors like. Lieutenant Colonel Robert Adeinko Adebayo, Mobolaji Johnson, Christopher Oluwole Rotimi, Navy Captain Akintude Aduo, Colonel David Jamie Bewan, ETC. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Obasanjo and Jonathan out eroded Herod. All the six ministers appointed by them from the Southwest were Christians, and Muslims were totally excluded from federal appointments under them. Worse still, they appointed Christians as ministers from core Muslim states like Baoshi, Kwara, and Kaduna. This policy of total political blackout for Muslims in Muslim majority states is contrary to the principles of participatory democracy. It is heartless political exclusion on the height of religious appetite. We condemn it in the strongest terms. Therefore, as the new dawn of the political inclusiveness promised by President-elect Bola Akhmetinubu approaches, we demand total departure from the past tortuous political marginalization of Muslims to complete political integration of Muslim citizens in all geopolitical zones. We are not asking Tinubu to sacrifice excellence on the halter of mediocrity. We have no scintilla of doubt that there are eminently qualified Muslims in all fields of human endeavor. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.